Hello all, this is Dr. C.E. Jainthi, Assistant Professor, Department of Education, Planning and Administration, Tamil Nadu Teachers Education University, Chennai. In the course Women Empowerment, we are going to learn the unit Issues of Girl Children and Women in Society. The main objectives are, after learning this unit, you will be able to explain about the women inequality and violence, to identify the social issues related to women, to summarize the various initiatives taken by National Commission to overcome women issues, to discuss the efforts taken by cybercrime prevention against women and children, to prevent crime against women and children, to prioritize the women and children's safety in the society. Violence against women is caused by gender inequality, including unequal power relations between women and men. There are many women inequalities and violence existing in the society. They are sexual harassment, discrimination, child marriage, dowry, trafficking, and acid throwing. Sexual harassment. Sexual harassment is unwelcome sexual behavior that is offensive and humiliating. It can be written, verbal, or physical and can happen in person or online. It includes someone touching, grabbing, or making physical contact with or without consent, staring, suggestive body movement, phone call that makes us to feel uncomfortable. Discrimination. Gender discrimination describes a situation in which people are treated differently simply because they are male or female rather than on the basis of their individual skills or capabilities. The gender discrimination also, the girls and women suffer most of the negative impact of rigid gender and norms and roles. They are more likely to experience restriction of their freedom of mobility. Child marriage. It refers to any formal marriage or informal union between a child under the age of 18 and an adult or another child. It is often the result of gender inequality. It stains the girl's childhood and threatens their well-being. Dowry. Dowry can be understood as demand for money or valuables by the family of the groom from the family of the bride to marry her. It is also an another kind of gender inequality. Acid attack. Acid attacks are a form of violence in which acid or another corrosive substances is thrown out at a person, usually a woman or a girl, with the intention of torturing or killing them. Uh, most survivors of acid attack are women and girls. The most common reason for attacking uh, girls are the refusal of marriage or denying sex. The acid attacks permanently scare the survivor. Trafficking. Human trafficking is the recruitment, transportation, transfer, harboring or the receipt of a people through forced fraud or deception with the aim of exploiting them for profit. Men, women and children of all ages and from all background become the victims of this crime. National Commission for Women the National Commission for Women has taken various initiatives to prevent violence and harassment upon girls and women, uh, like uh, providing a um, WhatsApp helpline, 24 by 7 women helpline, online hearing to look into the complaint, initiating uh, uh, the pilot projects, uh, created awareness videos, uh, conducting gender sensitizing program and capacity building programs, and also they have conducted research studies and many webinars. The cyber crime prevention against women and children. This scheme was formulated by the Ministry of Home Affairs to hold cyber crime against women and children in the country. The components under the scheme are online cyber crime reporting unit, forensic unit, a capacity building unit, research and development unit, awareness creation unit. In online uh, cyber crime reporting unit, it is a central citizen portal of uh, crime and criminal tracking network and systems project. Using this portal, an online cyber crime grievance can be made by the victims of cyber crime. It provides a central repository for position to law enforcement and regulatory agencies at the national, state, and local level for cyber crime related information. It works closely with the forensic unit for all digital investigations at the center as well as at chosen state forensic laboratories. 
forensic unit appropriate collection and preserving of proof related to cyber crime and its investigation this unit includes a group of cyber security professionals to carry out vivid types of electronic forensic analysis and help the law enforcement agencies in electronic forensic analysis across the country capacity building unit this unit support capacity building of central and state police forces prosecutors Uh, judicial officers and all other concerned stakeholders for all necessary capabilities like detection investigations forensic etc this unit also assist the state union territories official in taking up long term courses to improve the proficiency in the area the research and development unit in order to develop efficient tools to pursue absence and offensive content in the cyberspace a continuous refining is needed As a part of research and development activities, multiple centers of excellence will be developed in the country. Awareness creation unit. Awareness about cyber crime and cyber hygiene is introduced in schools in the early stages of education as a constituent of school curriculum. These awareness communications are delivered through a web portal and mobile apps. Conclusion. The Ministry of Women and Childhood Development has been administering various special laws relating to women such as the Protection of Women from Domestic Violence Act uh, in 2005, the Dowry Prohibition Act 1961, the Indecent Representation of Women Prohibition Act 1986, the Sexual Harassment of Women at Workplace Prevention Prohibition and Redressal Act 2013 and the Prohibition of Child Marriage Act 2006. India is signatory to United Nations Convention on Right of Child since 1992. In adherence to its commitment to ensure child rights, the, devel- uh, the government has framed the National Policy for Children 2013 and National Plan of Action 2016. It has also framed Juvenile Justice Care and Protection Act 2015, the Protection of Children from Sexual Offences. Pokso Act 2012 the Commission for Protection of Child Rights CPCR Act 2005 the Ministry of Women and Child Development is also implementing schemes including the scheme of one stop centers for uh, violence affected women the scheme of women helpline and the scheme of mahila police volunteers under the nirbhaya fund framework promoting and achieving gender equality is a critical element of prevention of violence against women Thank you.